I started working with a new product here that came to uh, Gray Digital Arts. Um, this is a customer submitted uh, PCB uh, for uh, a hand controller for OnStep. Um, this one is being called the Smart Hand Controller 3.2 MJS. And uh, I'll show you some of the uh, difference or, or features of this PCB. Um, one, the first thing that really stands out is the length. Um, the PCB is much longer than some of the other past smart hand controllers. Uh, it makes for more room for components and, and uh, features and uh, a little bit better fit in the hand. Um, but uh, you can also see it uses the 1.5 screen, much like the, uh, the other smart hand controllers. Uh, it uses a backlit or non-backlit. Right now I'm only stocking the backlit ones. Um, I got some buttons. They, they actually have LEDs in the back uh, so that these arrows light up and the okay the center button <clears throat> you can adjust it's kind of interesting each individual button you can adjust the brightness and you can do that with these resistors down here they're through hole resistors uh, right now i have 2k resistors in each one of them so they're all lit uh, the same i did it for a little bit more brightness so it'll show up on video and such and and maybe out in the field if you're under super dark you want them a little bit dimmer um, another option on this kind of topic that he has on the back is there is a method to follow the same brightness settings. Remember we have these map LEDs up here where you can adjust the intensity of the map LEDs, uh, map reading, I guess is the term I'm trying to think of. That's what they've always been referred to, to read maps as you're doing stargazing. <clears throat> you can adjust the brightness of these. Well, if you solder this jumper pad, um, the LEDs on this will follow the brightness commands of the map reading. Um, so, and I think I'll have to find out the uh, <clears throat> recommended resistors to do that. Uh, I do know they're higher than 2K, I think 47K. Uh, I will have to look that up. but understand you know each one is individually addressable with an L with a resistor the more resistance you add the brighter the LEDs get um, as you move down you know if you go to 47 K they'd be dimmer than these 2 K uh, resistors so that's uh, some of the LEDs and buttons um, it's all surface mount uh, components for the most part there is a handful of through hole uh, the one thing that everybody's been dying for is USB-C. Um, it's a very popular format for uh, things now, and USB-C is an easy connection that uh, you can reverse it. Uh, there's all kinds of advantages uh, to the uh, USB-C size uh, USB port. So USB, uh, while we're down here, there's also a BME sensor uh, that's uh, SMT, uh, surface mount technology, uh, uh, soldered onto the board. So you can take advantage of having this read your temperature, humidity, uh, dew point, that kind of stuff. So the, the one thing I have found right now, this only works with OnStep X. Um, the, the weather data does not, it kind of works. So we'll, we'll see where that goes in the future if uh, OnStep 4.24 will be able to support that. If not, OnStep X is the way to uh, support uh, the weather uh, information off the smart hand controller. Um, one thing, you know, a lot of people kind of don't like it because it's near your hand and your hand is 98.6 degrees. So keep that in mind if you're going to be gathering weather data off of the smart hand controller. Okay. Uh, it uses uh, uh, either ST4 power in uh, to supply power to the PCB, or you can hook up a battery. 
uh, a LiPo battery uh, connects in. Uh, one comment about the LiPo battery connector is that it follows the standard, uh, what is commonly called remote control battery format, where um, it's oriented with positive is on the right, negative is on the left, when you orientate the, the indexing of that cable. So this is something uh, to be aware of. There's a lot of, I know Adafruit flipped it for some reason, uh, where you know a lot of her uh, PCBs flip the remote control format. But most batteries that you purchase from Amazon with this little uh, 2.0 um, space co connector, they will be this orientation. The positive will be on the right, the negative will be on the left with the indexing plastic on the top here. Uh, so when you plug it in, uh, you're indexing to the top, positive on the right, negative on the left. Let's see, uh, we'll continue on. There is ST4N. If you are using an external uh, guiding mechanism that you wanna bring in your guiding pulses, you can bring it in through this. So SD4 power and data to on step, SD4 data uh, in from an auto guider, uh, external auto guider. Um, I, I think they're kind of falling. Well, I won't give my opinions. Uh, it seems like PhD seems to be more popular. I'll just put it that way. Um, so let's see, map reading is still there, LEDs. There's a lot of stuff on here that is over my head as I am not a PCB designer, I'm more of a component connector <laughs> inside PCBs. Uh, let's see, so standard buttons for that, buttons, and now this switch is kind of unique in that it is a lock switch in that if you press it in, it'll be uh, uh, in this position, and if you, you press it, it comes out, it'll be in another position. This is what's deciding how to route the power. Um, if you want battery power, it's one way. If you want SD4 power, it's the other way. Thus, if you only have one power input, it works as an on-off switch. If I only have ST4 and I choose, I can't remember which way it is, ST4, then the other orientation of the switch will be off for ST4. If I have battery, uh, one orientation will be on for battery power, one orientation will be off. Uh, this also has the uh, charging component to charge your batteries right in the case. Um, so that's the PCB. I'm sure I've missed a lot. There's more information on the website and there's a link to um, the uh, PCB design and everything on the website also. Uh, it's got an external antenna, so you can kind of place that if you are using any kind of metal case or whatever, you can place that external if you so like. So um, let's go ahead. This one is programmed for ST4 power. Um, right now you have to decide when you upload your code uh, to the microcontroller if you're going to be using um, ST4 or battery um, or Wi-Fi, I'm sorry, Wi-Fi, ST4 or Wi-Fi. So this can do ST4 communication or Wi-Fi communication. I'll plug it into the ST4 port of this PCB over here. And you'll see we've got power on. The, the, uh, the buttons light up and we're starting to boot up. Uh, we'll go ahead and show it real quick. So the other orientation of the button is power off. So power on. Looking for on step. and it was able to connect to on step. So from here, we're able to use the buttons. Uh, so far I've been able to, to test the, the, the display brightness or contrast they call it here, all the way to max, and I haven't had any power issues uh, with the OLED dropping connection or anything or the, the board. Uh, this is a buck boost. Uh, so it's not just a, a 5 volt down to 3.3, it, it 
it does more than that, I'll put it that way. Um, if I go into more details, I'll be in over my head. Um, so, so far, power as I've been working with it has been very uh, consistent. I usually set it to min um, when you're outside. Uh, it can get bright. Um, hopefully we can see the brightness of uh, the keypad. Uh, let's see. So that's it. So these are your F1, F2 buttons, and these are your standard buttons. So um, I think that's all I really wanted to show with ST4. So let's unplug that. And this smart hand control over here in the case is set up for battery and Wi-Fi. So there's a on off switch, you know, obviously on the bottom that works into this uh, case. Um, I went with a pinhole right now, a display of the charging uh, just to reduce brightness. This may change. I made it pinhole because it's easy for anybody to print this. They don't need a two color printer or two filament printer, dual head or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so we will connect. This is uh, uh, on step 4.24 that we're going to connect to. So in my, my Wi-Fi is called on step. So we'll connect to the on step Wi-Fi network here. So it was able to connect to the Wi-Fi uh, signal of this PCB, and now it's looking for on step on that I, the default IP address. So connection OK. Uh, we're again able to go in and do our thing. Um, you'll, in the past, I've found battery power is, cool, pro, well, I won't say that. Uh, it's, it's very convenient battery power. Uh, the charge on this lasts quite a bit, depending on what size uh, uh, battery you put in it. Um, this particular case, I was able to fit a larger battery than some of the others are being used, but it is not necessary to, to go to that size battery. So <clears throat> I've been pretty happy with the use on this. I like the screen size. The 1.5 is better than the 1.3. I think it is the smaller one that's on most uh, regular smart hand controllers. Um, so anytime you bump up to that little bit bigger, it's just a better format, a better um, um, viewing experience. Um, the power needed for the larger is well supplied by um, ST4 and battery. Uh, so that's about it. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to keep using it to experiment with it and um, as things change I will update the website and update probably the videos but um, so far this is looking at a very very reliable uh, design um, I like some of the features that um, was brought to this design as far as the buck boost there are more features you'll have to read the documentation as far as the power supply type um, so those with more um, uh, electrical engineering experience can learn more about some of this stuff uh, that, that uh, he has built into this. Um, but uh, so far I've been very pleased uh, with the uh, usage of it and the experience of using it. And um, it's, it's been a great design. So um, we will, with that, we will call it a video.